Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. In this exercise, we will make this uh, bottle that I'm showing right here using the, the loft feature with uh, different sketches. So the loft is a feature that is going to help us uh, make complex shapes such as this one here by defining uh, different cross sections of the model. And this is gonna allow us to control the final um, the final shape. So let's uh, create a new part using a template base in inches. And um, for that, we can go to settings and um, let's go to units, select inches. And let's create three planes uh, using the plane command. So let's go to features, reference geometry, plane. And we are going to select the top plane for the reference, the reference plane. And um, the space in between the, um, the planes are going to be 3.5 inches and I'm going to need three planes. So right here is where you need change the quantity of the planes that you will need. So after um, that, we can click OK when done. So now for visibility purposes, I'm going to also uh, turn on, show the top plane as well. Uh, next, we're going to select the top plane to uh, to uh, start creating the, uh, the shapes that we want for the bottle. So top plane, sketch, and uh, we're going to select the uh, center rectangle. And um, this is going to be uh, four inches. So this is going to be the, bo the bottom of the bottle by 2.5. And um, let's provide some, um, some fillets and the, um, let's uh, make this a half an inch. So select both lines and you can see uh, the preview. Okay, so after you do that, we can um, click OK when done. So we have the first um, sketch. So now um, we're going to select now the second um, Plane, which is plane number one, and let's create another. Um, let's create a um, another sketch on this uh, on that plane. So similarly to the first one, uh, we're going to create a center rectangle, and um, just make sure to start at the origin, and make the uh, rectangle's corner coincident to the previous sketch diagonal line, this diagonal line. So select that. And uh, let's provide this dimension here. This is uh, 2.75, which is two and three quarters of an inch. And since we already uh, selected the diagonal uh, line to be coincident with the corner, so this is already automatically updated as well. Uh, similar to the first sketch, we're going to uh, make a, um, let's do some fillets on the corners. Same is going to be the half an inch. And let's hit OK when done. One more time. So that's this, the, the, uh, the second profile. So for the third profile, we're going to select plane number two and um, click on sketch. So this sketch is going to be exactly as the first one. So to help us save time, we'll use the convert entities tool. So let's go to convert entities and we're going to select the um, sketch number one and let's hit OK. So that's how you will create the third profile. And let's hit OK. 
So for the last profile, we are going to select plane number three, sketch, and um, and we are going to draw a circle using the origin and um, and we are going to provide some relationships. Uh, so select this circle right here and the line and make that tangent uh, to the horizontal line. Um, so this relationship will define the sketch. So let's exit. So now we have uh, completed the four profiles for the for the bottle. So after completing the sketches, we are ready to make the loft feature. So the loft feature uh, require at least two or more sketches or faces. So, but we'll use these four that we just created. So let's select the loft lofted uh, boss base, which is under the features. Uh, and then um, we're going to select all the uh, profiles in order. So we're going to start with the first one we made at the bottom and finishing with the last one at the top. So uh, we can do that by um, selecting the sketches right there. Um, now the um, as you can see, the loft is kind of um, is twisted, and this is a result that we don't. For this particular case, we don't want that. So we can guide the curve to improve the the, the overall shape. So for that, we can um, we can control that by uh, moving these dots. So for example, we can take, um, so this one here, it looks like it's um, in a different position. Let's move it. Let's move it to the right there. Okay. So now it's a little better. And um, under the uh, star end constraint, we're going to select the uh, normal two profile for the um, for the start and then to the end the same thing in the um, now it's looking much better now in the options scroll down in the options uh, make sure that the uh, merge tangent faces is selected um, this is going to generate a single continuous surface with the left so after we do that, we can hit OK. And we're almost, um, you can kind of see kind of see the shape. So now let's add a, um, a radius fillet at the bottom edge of the bottle to uh, round it off. So let's select fillet and uh, make this one quarter of, of an inch. And we're going to select the bottom face. You can see the preview. Once you're done, you can click OK. Um, we're going to add a uh, one inch extrusion at the top of the bottle. So select that face, click sketch. Let's create a, um, a circle. Hit OK. Now let's go to the extrusion command and right here we're going to make this one inch and let's hit okay now using the shell command um, removing the top face making the wall thickness um, 0.125 inches so let's go to the, uh, the shell command select the top and um, can show the preview and right here this is where the, the wall thickness is going to be so this is 0.125 and hit ok when done
and we have created a uh, the in the interior of the bottle using the 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 shell command. Um, we can change the the appearance of the bottle uh, with this. Um, with all these options here so this is going to be up to you up to you whatever material you want to uh you want to assign so we can go here right click edit material and uh let's go to the aluminum alloys so like 1060 apply and close so that's the aluminum um so now to view to view the uh, the inside of the part, we can select the uh, the section view here. I come from the view toolbar. We can define which plane to cut the model with. So the depth of the cut is um, an optionally up the second, third section plane. So um, as you can see, we can drag this. So you can see the interior. So um, if we click OK, in the section view, the model will be displayed as cut, as you can see here. And uh, But this is only for display purposes. The part is not actually cut. So to turn off the section view, we can um, select this icon again, and uh, the part will go back to the um, original. Um, shape so um so this is useful if you like if you want to uh observe what's going on on the inside and uh finally we can turn off all these um planes so we can um see better the model so we can we can hide those and then also we can hide the top plane and this is how you will uh, create this bottle using a few um, useful commands, such as the uh, the loft, the buzz base, and a few reference planes. And I hope you enjoy, and thank you for watching.